I am going to walk you through making this model of the Highland Park water tower. In your materials kit, you should have this instruction sheet, a glue stick, a roll of tape, and this packet, oops, should be blank, containing all the materials for the water tower. So you can begin by just taking all these cardboard pieces out. I think I got it. All right. So our first step is to lay out the pieces like it shows on step one. Let's do that and make sure that you have all your pieces. All right. So I have set my pieces up exactly like step one on here. And I know that I have all of the correct pieces. All right. So step two, we are taking this piece here and this longer piece here. There are two different sides to this piece, which is important to know. There's one side that's gonna to be totally solid, and there's this other side that's gonna have these little cutout spaces. And you're going to be putting these into these, into the side, make sure you're putting it into the side with the little cutout spaces. Now you're going to need to flex these a little as you're putting them in. So that means that this piece here, you're gonna need to curve a little bit. That's why those cutout spaces are there because they make this flexible. All right, so once you have it all in and uh, you might have a little incident like I did, I have a little tear there, it won't matter. You're going to be Pulling this piece up so that it's not sticking straight out, you want it to, you want to kind of push down these tabs in the back so that this piece is pointing straight up. And then after you do that, we're going to bend it around and flex it around and connect it into a circle where this tab goes in right to this space trying to show you the best I can. It should fit right like that. And then you can kind of correct how it looks as a circle. There it is with your front door. This is your base. So the next, this is kind of the second half of part three and moving into part four, where it tells you to pick this up. Again, you're gonna want the outside to be the, the side where you can see it's cut, it's scored, and you're gonna start making those scores turn, kind of bend them in advance. And then this is going to connect to our base. So we're gonna find that place where I connected it. And we're gonna start, so here's where my connection is. We're gonna start, let's see how I can show you, putting this tab through there, like that. And we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around this space until it is completely connected. Oops. Mine came apart, which is actually fine. It's fine if that comes apart on the bottom just because I was moving it a lot. If you would, if it's easier, and it really might be easier to just put it together flat and then put all the tabs together to make it round again, go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm just gonna keep pushing these tabs into these spaces. Again, on the back side, you're gonna wanna push the tabs like that so that this is straight up and down. All right, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. So now I have this completely assembled. Once you have these pieces, it helps to just go back and try to flatten these tabs, straighten them out a little. And now I'm just going to put this back together. I'm going to bend this, these scored tabs here again. And bend this scored tab. And I have a feeling this will go together a lot easier this way than how I was doing it before. Yeah. All right. There's what we got so far. There's our front entrance again. 
where we are taking this piece and this piece. We're gonna bend it again. So where it's scored, it's flexible. You can do the same thing on here. So it's flexible where it's scored because eventually it's gonna wrap around like this. I'm gonna do the same thing in this place because I'm gonna put these right in these places like that. And again, it helps to curve it a little as you're putting the pieces together. All right, so I have those two pieces all together. And again, I'm gonna kind of push the flaps up in the back. And the other thing I'm gonna do is make sure these scored parts down here are all moving flexibly so that I can start attaching this. I feel a dog on my toes. Get out of there, Loyal. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna start at putting these pieces onto my tower. So you can see, it's hard for me to do it while I'm showing you. I'm trying. And I'm just wrapping it around the tower as I go and pushing the pieces in. All right, so I have this one little piece. This is where I'm gonna use a little tape that keeps wanting to pop out here. And I'm about halfway through putting those in and I'm just gonna take a tiny piece of tape and stick it in here to connect it. Cause nobody's even gonna see it. You can see where I put the tape in there. That's just gonna help me out. All right, so now I've got this top part all attached and I just need to connect the tab on this to close that side again. Bend the tab where it's scored on both sides. They want to be flexible. You need them to be flexible. <coughs> and push these together. Sorry, I just can't do it while showing you. Should have my camera lady come by me or something. There we go. So now it's all together, all the way along. If you want to put a little tape behind there again, that's totally fine. What are you doing? So now you should have a tower that looks like this, and we're going to add the very top piece on. Again, you need to make these scored pieces bend in. So go ahead and bend those down. They're gonna meet in the middle. And I'm gonna see, they'll eventually go like this. And this we should bend to on all the score marks so it can go around. And then I'm gonna try to position where it, um, meets up in the very back or towards the back. Where's my little joint? There, there's where it joins. And I'm gonna start there. And I'm gonna just push this in. As you can see, it's going through that hole there. And then you're gonna skipping one and through that hole. There we go. And then you're skipping one again. And go into that next hole. And then you're skipping one again. And you're going to that next hole. And then there's these cute little tabbies here. See those? Where it can lock together. And there we have the top piece on. Now, we are moving on to making the base. So we just have three pieces left. 
This is the top of the base where it has those words on it, or letters. And we're gonna, again, wiggle those scored pieces, bend them down. Okay, so now we have those pieces um, bent a little, and I'm gonna show you, I want this little opening tab to line up with this opening tab here. And then this is going to go um, right through that opening to secure that corner in place. I can show you better. And then the same on this side where, where is it connected? This opening is gonna overlap that opening. Oops. I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna push those through that space there. I just need to bend it a little better. We got our platform totally assembled here. And now this, you're just gonna have to flex it a little for it to sit in the platform. I'm making this the front with the, what looks like a little door. And then that is it. You are done. You made your Highland Park water tower. Feel free. To now the leaning tower no! of pizza. It's Feel the leaning tower <laughs> of pizza. Feel free to add tape or glue any place you think. The you leaning need. tower of pizza.